Hi viewers, welcome again to Handy Dandy Husband's YouTube channel. Today, we are going to show you a way to create free Tupperware containers using basic kitchen supplies. As our viewers know, at HDH, we encourage everyone to reuse everyday items to both save the environment and save money. In this video, we will show you how to create fairly sturdy Tupperware from packaging that would otherwise be discarded. The tools that you'll need are the following. Hot water, tea tree oil, salt or sugar, paper towels, optionally you could also have some flour, and a container that you want to remove the labeling off of. In this case, we're using the um, Chevrolet Soft Unripened Goat Cheese Crumbles by Woolrich Daily, uh, Dairy Incorporated. And while I can't remove this label here, it's this label here that we're going to be removing. So making this a usable Tupperware container. Now this method will also be applicable to glass or other plastic containers with paper labels. In another video, we'll show you how to remove this actual um, uh, painted or um, ingrained uh, labeling. All right, the first step is to remove as much of the paper label from the container as possible using hot water and mechanical agitation. Now, of course, this is a uh, empty container. It hasn't been washed. So what you would do is you pull off any sort of plastic wrapping on top of it. And there's this glue bead that you can see here that we'll need to remove. Wash the inside and we'll need to remove as much of this paper portion as possible. Now, what I found is the best way to remove this is with a lot of hot water. So what we'll do is we'll take this to the sink, uh, apply hot water and see how much of this paper label we can take off. Now the water is very hot underneath, wetting it as I go. And as you can tell, bits of the label are starting to come off. As you can see, the ed edges are getting water into them. Just with a little bit of once you warm up the adhesive with a little bit of scraping, the label begins to peel off on its own. Okay, and we'll take the rest off off camera. The second step is to apply a liberal layer of oil onto the sticky part that is left after you've removed as much of the label as possible. Now, I've used tea tree oil. However, you could also use olive oil, coconut oil, uh, or even regular vegetable oil. Uh, the reason why I'm using tea tree oil is it is quite powerful, and this particular bottle is expired, so I want to make some use of it. Now. You would apply drops of it and then just spread it with your finger onto the sticky portions. Now, I'm not going to turn this over just yet. And then you could also apply the same tree tree oil to the glue bead along the edge here. What would you do now is uh, just leave this for 20 minutes to one hour and let the um, tea tree oil work um, into the adhesive. All right, so we've let this uh, tree, 
tea tree oil sit on the adhesive layer uh, for approximately one hour and now the uh, tea tree oil has worked itself into the gummy parts of the adhesive. Now we could at this point just use a paper towel to wipe it clean but I find that that's not optimal. So what I, tr what I do is add a little bit of sugar or salt and what this, uh, the sugar and salt do, do is that they actually create a bit of a, a grit a grit to the um, uh, adhesive layer and if you spread it out the sugar or salt be, just uh, uh, attaches themselves to the um, the gooey adhesive parts and so what it ends up happening is it, they come off a lot easier now, of course you could use your finger but in this case I'm just gonna use a paper towel and you can see how easily it just wipes off. I'm just gonna put this away so it doesn't. There we go. And I didn't put any um, uh, sugar onto this area here, but I'm just going to gently rub with the paper towel and that will be enough to take off that adhesive. It's not as gummy as the uh, adhesive that they use for the um, labeling. You could, of course, use the um, sugar in this area as well as you need to. and that will take care of that. Now that the uh, adhesive area has uh, been cleaned off, you could just wash this normally with uh, your dishwasher detergent and you will now have a ready to use free Tupperware container. Now I like this because number one it's rectangular so that it conserves space in the refrigerator when you put things into it. Second, As you can tell, it's stackable. So you can stack the container itself below with the lids on top. And finally, it's stackable inside the fridge as well, sometimes two to three at a time. And they got a bit of a, a, a rib, so they don't move around. For me, the Chevrolet containers are great. Um, now, if you have other containers, obviously, you'd have to use those, but I find these to be optimal for my purposes. Thank you for watching. Hope you found this video informative and helpful. We welcome you to join us on our journey to save money and the environment. We'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.